Uh, this week, we saw cold, hard evidence of the Trump campaign, indeed the Trump family, eagerly intending to collude, possibly, with Russia, a hostile foreign power to influence American elections. We all knew what was going on from the very start of this charade, but now we finally have confirmation that the FBI took part in a plan to keep Trump from being the president and then to overturn the election results after he won. The Durham report states, quote, neither U.S. law enforcement nor the intelligence community appears to have possessed any actual evidence of collusion in their holdings at the commencement of the Crossfire Hurricane investigation. As disgraced FBI agent and head of the Trump investigation, Peter Strzok told his cheating girlfriend, and also disgraced fired agent Lisa Page, quote, don't worry, we have an insurance policy. Indeed they did. That insurance policy was the Hillary Clinton campaign laundering disinformation about Trump and Russia to the FBI and media, both of whom knew what was going on, but went along with it anyway. The FBI lied, cheated, and spied on the Trump campaign on behalf of the Hillary Clinton campaign, worked as her personal disinformation disseminators with the media, then worked to torpedo Trump for the next four years, based on absolutely nothing. Nothing! Deep breaths. <laughs> Just keep it together. Keeping it together. <laughs> I don't know about you all, but I think it might be a good idea if we take a quick break here and compose ourselves before going forward into the... <laughs> infuriating CNN and MSNBC clips, which just outright lie about the Durham report. So while you're doing that, please take a quick moment and check out this free coin offer from Noble Gold. There's no denying it, gold is hot right now. Prices are soaring and experts are predicting even more to come. Not so long ago, gold reached its all-time high of $2,069 an ounce. And right now, it's inching even closer to that number again. Bank of America, one of the largest banks in the world, is saying gold will rise further still to over 2,200 an ounce later this year. So what, right? Well, gold is already a safety net for your hard-earned money. And now, when the stock market is all over the place and the value value of the dollar is uncertain, being safe really counts like never before. Right now, Noble Gold is offering a 5-ounce America the Beautiful coin for any qualified IRA or old 401k rollover terms do apply. A solid silver U.S. Mint issued coin celebrating our national parks, free with every qualifying precious metals IRA or 401k rollover. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments. Call right now. That's 877-646-5347. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. Or you can go to noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. And you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. And remember, there's always risk in investment, and there are no guarantees of any kind. And remember, it was based on a Trump campaign aide, George Papadopoulos, telling an Australian diplomat that the Russians had gone to the Trump campaign and said that they could leak information damaging to Hillary Clinton that would be helpful to the Trump campaign. It never happened. Papadopoulos literally never told two Australian diplomats that Russia had Clinton's emails. It literally never happened. As Durham cites in his report, quote, Papadopoulos made no mention of Clinton's emails, dirt on any specific approach by the Russian government to the Trump campaign team with an offer or suggestion of providing assistance. <laughs> Either these people didn't read the report, which is possible, or much more likely, they're sticking to their stories because they have nothing left. In fact, this fake reporter, Ken Delanian, is a known CIA plant who filters all of his stories through the agency. He is not to be trusted, especially on this topic. He was deeply involved in this coup attempt. Oh, very well, Katie, that, that was weighing on the minds of senior FBI officials was that infamous comment that Donald Trump made to you, where he said, Russia if you're listening, I hope you can find the 30,000 emails on Hillary Clinton's missing server or whatever it was, uh, essentially appealing to the Russian government. Now, he says he was joking, but it, it, it gave pause to a lot of people and made clear that Donald Trump was prepared to accept help from Russia and factored into the decision uh, for, by the FBI to well, open that on the note of joking, I did ask. Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the did you just say? <laughs> 
actually seeing this right now? The attempt by the FBI, the Hillary campaign, and the media to stop Trump, then overturn the 2016 election, was all based on an obvious joke made by Trump? Are they aware that Hillary made the exact same joke, except to China? But this time it was different, because the media, of course, framed that as a joke. Um, there's really not a lot of stake to show for the sizzle here. Uh, I think the good news about this is that it's over, it's done, this is the final report, and there's absolutely nothing new here. Uh <laughs> there's nothing there? It's totally nothing! I swear, like, why even look at it? How about the fact that our intelligence agencies were used as partisan political tools against the Democrat Party's political opponents by the government and our media simply to secure power for their party? It seems like members of the media should be concerned about this because they're supposedly journalists, but they're not. Because because they were deeply involved in this, in our treasonous scumbags. It wasn't based on the Steele dossier that the case was opened. It was based on the statements by George Papadopoulos that they had stolen e emails from the Democratic National Committee and Hillary Clinton. Come on, don't bullshit me. But once again, that's just another lie the media continues to tell. According to Durham's report, the FBI possessed no verified intelligence reflecting that Trump or the Trump campaign was involved in a conspiracy or collaborative relationship with officials of the Russian government. In fact, Durham says that the Australian diplomats told FBI officials that Papadopoulos, quote, never stated that he had any direct contact with the Russians, nor did he provide any explicit information about an offer of assistance. But apparently that didn't matter to the FBI and it doesn't matter to the media now. During the Trump administration, uh, because it, driven in part by his allegations that this whole Russia investigation started uh, by uh, Democrats, conspiracy theory, George right. Soros. I mean, you name all the connections, many of them typical connections that were made. Uh, at the time, having covered this, th there was a great deal of, well, excitement or interest on the right that there were, there were going to be discoveries, as you right. say, of a mass conspiracy. Good God! <laughs> about to lose my mind over Jim Shuto and Brianna Keeler of all people calling this report a conspiracy theory. The report specifically says that the Crossfire Hurricane investigation was started with absolutely zero evidence to justify it. The actual conspiracy theory turned out to be the crap coming from Jim Shuto and Brianna Keller, both of whom won awards <laughs> for their Steele dossier conspiracy theories. The Steele dossier turned out to be utter and complete lies. Some Thing this channel has been reporting for years now. The FBI, the Hillary Clinton campaign, the Democrat Party, and our media all work together to subvert our elections. So the question is, how do we move forward as a country now? No doubt the media is going to move on and memory hole this as quick as possible. But the severity of what happened here has me looking at this country completely different. How could we ever ever trust the FBI, the CIA, or any of the other institutions that played a part in this. They all seem to be aligned against us. I don't know, folks. What do you all think about this? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button, and I'll catch you all in the comment section. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.